elements elements and uh, compound difference okay and uh, colloids colloids and true solution true solution there all the differences yeah okay Hello, Sarah. How are you? I'm audible. Yes, sir. Okay. Are you in India right now? Or? No, I just came recently. Okay. So, Sarah, uh, we, we, were, we have done this already in the class. Uh, this is compounding mixtures and homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures, elements and compounds, colloids and true solutions. So, if do you have, uh, means, is there any topic that you are missing in your copy? Check it. And if you have missed any topic, then let me know. And turn on your camera. Done? No, sir, just two minutes. Sarah Beck, I'm asking you, is there any topic that you missed in your topic? I think so. I'm not too sure. But I wasn't there for the last two or one class. I didn't attend. Sarah, uh, if you are having book, okay, right now, so you can revise the difference between compound and mixtures, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures, elements and compounds, and true solution and colloids. We are going to discuss each and every one in detail today. Yes, it's chat done. No, sir.
So difference between compound and uh, mixtures, right? Till yet you are only compound and mixtures. No, sir, I'm asking. I have learned uh, uh, element and compound. Compound, mixture difference or compound and mixture both? Well, yes, we have to write the difference of all. Okay. Yes, yes, you, uh, Stith, are you done? No, sir, almost. Done. Yes or no? Done. Zara. Done. No, sir. You're taking much time. So, yes, uh, Irshad, what is the difference between compound and mixtures? Yes, what is the difference between compound and mixtures? You are muted. For uh, just a minute. For hand, nice. Device is not coming to me. Okay, speak something. No, I can't hear you. Yes, Astrid, can you can you speak something? Yes, sir. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, Irsha. Now speak something. Sir. Yes. Sir, elements are chemically uh, combined together in a fixed uh, in a fixed ratio by mass. Okay. Um, the constituents uh, shows uh, the constituents does not show their property. Um, uh, sir, the constituents. Uh, can't be uh, separated uh, by um, physical method such as uh, filtration, evaporation, uh, boiling or cool, cooling point, etc. So, 
can you tell me that what is the difference between uh, element and compound uh, so element uh, an element uh, is a substance which uh, which cannot be splitted uh, into two or more substances uh, by usual chemical by usual chemical method and uh, compound um, it is a substance uh, which can be uh, split into two or more uh, simpler substances by usual chemical uh, method okay yes you uh, they just uh, yes, what is the main difference between colloids and solution um. What is the main difference between colloids and solution? Two solution. Uh, main difference. Colloids and solution. Uh, so the uh, uh, size of uh, the size of particles are uh, small. Uh, in uh, in true solution are uh, 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 ten to the power nine meters. Okay. And uh, size of uh, size of the particles in uh, uh, in col uh, col uh, colloid are bigger uh, bigger than uh, bigger than true solution okay what is the main uh, okay we have almost a uh, large amount of similarities between true solution and colloids okay yes you was there. we have large uh, almost uh, large amount of similarities between yes, true sir. solutions and colloids okay uh, may i know that what is the main difference between colloids and solutions? We know that almost colloids and true solutions have, uh, sure. means they, they are stable compounds, uh, sorry, stable solution, they do not settle down, uh, they, sure. the particle is not visible with light, uh, sorry, the, uh, we, we can simply say that they are, uh, the particles is not visible with naked eyes, okay, and uh, we can simply say that a true solution and colloids are almost all going to have the same characteristics. Sir, can I see yes, one difference? Sir, no, just wait, just wait, that they just. So okay, may sir. I'm asking to ask, ask that, that what is the main difference between colloids and true solutions? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Okay, sir. So the main difference is true solution is a homo a homogeneous mixture, whereas colloidal is seems to be an homogeneous mi uh, mixture, but it is actually an heterogeneous. But it is actually an heterogeneous mixture. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, okay. can, can I say one more? But it why it is why it is heterogeneous? Why it is it seems to be homogeneous, but it is heterogeneous. Why it is so? Yes, sir. It seems to be he uh, an heterogeneous because okay. Yes, uh Farhan, can you tell me? Yes, I just I'm just coming back to you. Okay. Farhan, can you tell me? Farhan, yes, why have you turned off your camera? I uh, This is my last warning to you that if you have turned off your camera, then I'm going to inform the team that you used to, you are not concentrating on, on the studies. Okay, tell me that what is the main difference between two solutions and colloids? Sir, uh, true solution is our uh, mixtures in which... Uh... Solute and, uh, solute and solvents are mixed pr properly in the liquid phase. Violin. And uh, in colloids, the solution uh, are the mixtures uh, uh, in which the in, in colloids, solution are the mixtures in which the solute is uh, uniformly distributed in the solvent. Uh, in the true solution, also it is uniformly distributed. No, yes, so the true solution uh, are mixtures in which the solute and solvents mix properly in the liquid phase. So uniformly, what does it mean? Properly and uniformly are different things. Yes, uh, Sara, can you give me the examples? Uh, sorry, Sara, can you? Why have you turned off your camera, Sara? Can you see you, Rumaisa? Are you there, Rumaisa? Please turn on the camera. So, uh, if I'm talking about this one, yes, they just can you tell me that what is the main difference between Sir, true, uh, true, true solution does not uh, show Tyndall effect. And what is Tyndall effect? 
So Tyndall effect is when we pass the light through through a liquid, uh, we can uh, see the pa path of light. Yes, that even the particles of pure solution is so small that it will not let the light particle to scatter. A scatter means something. Like for example, if you are having, if you are driving a car, and if you have a small stone like this of this much size, if your car get hit with that stone, will it crack? No, no, because this is small size stone that is on on the road. Your car can over uh, go through it. But if I simply say that if your car is going to have a means if your car hit with bigger stone, then it will going to damage. Okay, it will scatter it. Mm -hmm. Same thing is that the particle size is so small, so small in true solution that even the light particle cannot strike over it and can scatter. So no scattering of light is visible in true solution. And when there is no scattering of light, no path will be visible. And when the colloidal solution particle is bigger enough that it can scatter the beam of light, means the photons can strike over it and it can scatter the beam of light. And when it can scatter the beam of light, it means that the particles, uh, the path of light will be visible. So in true solution, the no path of light is visible. They don't show Tyndall effect. We call this this Tyndall effect. Okay. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you have to keep in mind uh, this one that the main difference between true solutions and colloids is that. Okay. The next one is. If I'm talking here. Is that. Just In true solution, like if I'm talking about the true solution. So if you are having a torch, if you pass through it, it the path of light will not be visible. This is true solution. True solution. Another, if you have colloidal solution, and if you pass a torch, torch light to it, colloidal solution, colloids, then it will not let it to pass through over. Okay, you understood? Yes, understood? Sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So. Next, next thing, if I'm asking you one thing here. Is that. I'm asking you true solution. I'm asking you colloidal solution. Okay, I'm asking you about the... Uh, now, tell me that what is the main difference between elements and compounds? Elements and compounds. Sara, are you there in the class? Yes, sir. So, why have you turned off your camera? Sir, my camera isn't working. I think I already texted you. Okay. So, what is element? Element. An element is a substance which consists of only one kinds of particles. And compound is a substance which consists of two, two, types. two or more types. Two or two more, more substance chemically bonded together. Yes, sir. And whenever we are just having uh, the name of a compound, it should be it should be at least in two letters. If it is not a common name, if it is not a common name, so there okay. should be sorry, there should be two words, not letter. Okay, the compound name should be at least of two words. And uh, like, for example, if it is not like water is a compound, but it is, it is not a, uh, it is a common name water. Water is hydrogen oxide, H2O. It is hydrogen oxide. Yes, sir. Okay. It is hydrogen oxide. Okay, sir. So, uh, this is water. Okay. And uh, this is H2O. So, like for example, if I'm saying uh, sulfur powder, sulfur powder, powder. So, it is a compound or a mixture? Compound. Sorry, it Sorry. is a compound, or a, compound. Or a, a compound or an element? No, it is not a compound. It is an element. element. Powder is not a substance. It is a, it is a oh. state that is defining you. Like it is written chlorine gas. Chlorine, if it is written chlorine gas. Like it is written chlorine Gas. So gas is not a substance. It is a state. Powder is not a substance. 
powder is something solid which is having minute crystal. It is defining the state. Powder form, crystal form, okay, gaseous form, liquid form. So that is a state. That is not a substance. Okay, sulfur powders, the powder of sulfur only. Okay, you understood? Yes, sir. Understood? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. In compounds, the element does not show their property. Uh, okay, the substance doesn't show their property. They are chemically bonded and they have fixed formula. They have fixed melting and boiling point and stuff. Okay. So if I'm if I'm writing here uh, something, just a minute. Uh, to tell me that which one is okay. Here we have. This one. Okay. Okay. So do this one and tell me that which one of the following here is uh, compound elements and mixture. Please note this question in your copy and let, let you. Sir, we already class. did it. We already did last class. Sir, we we did it, did but you have to do it again and you have okay. to tell me. And don't cheat, please. Don't cheat. Okay. It's my responsibility to teach you to score very good marks. Huh? So we did it, yes, but. We have to do again. Sir, chlorine gas. Chlorine gas. Tell me, it is a yes. compound or an element? Yes, you tell us. Uh, is an it, element. Is an element. Yes, you. As potassium chloride is an element or a compound? Sir, it is an compound. Yes, Farhad. Iron is an element or a compound? Sir, it's an element. Yes, uh, Irshad. Iron sulfide is an element or a compound? Sir, yeah. compound. Yes, you, Sarah. Iron, iron aluminium is an element or a compound? Compound? Aluminium. Oh, element. Element is single word letter, na? Yes, you, Rumaisa. Iodine, iodine is an element or a compound? Uh, element. Uh, element. Carb yes, you, uh, Farhan. Yes, uh, Farhan, carbon is an element or a compound? Sir, it's an element. Irshad, carbon monoxide is an element or a compound? Sir, a compound. Yes, carbon monoxide. Mono means one or an oxide representing oxygen, okay? So that you can uh, do in a very simple manner, okay? Now, today, we shall be going to study the concentration terms. The yes, concentration. Sir, okay. The concentration terms. What are concentration terms? There are different different types of concentration terms that we studied. Okay. The first type of concentration yes, term. Just is mass okay. by mass, mass by mass percentage. Yes, I can hear you. Mass okay. by mass percentage. What is mass by mass percentage? Mass by mass percentage means that. The mass of solute divided by mass of solution. Okay. What is mass by mass percentage? So what is mass by mass percentage? Mass by mass percentage means mass of solution. Solute divided by, by mass, of, mass of, solution. of solution. Solution into 100. We, we, we did this for the previous class. No, sir. Yes, sir. No, we did not. Okay. Mass by mass percentage is 
mass of solute upon mass of solution into 100. Sometimes, in some times, it is, it is the, instead of this mass of uh, solution, okay, sometimes it is being given to you that mass of solute and then it will be mass of solute again plus mass of solvent. Don't write anything when I ask you to write it. Okay, and this mass by mass percentage is also known as W by W percentage. Same. Okay, we called it W by W percentage. Since the mass of mass of solute plus mass of solvent is mass of solution. It is mass of solution. Sir, sir, can we use both of, uh, can we use both formulas? Yeah, according to the situation, sometimes the mass of solvent is only given to you. Then you have to add the mass of solvent, uh, solute to it to get the mass of solution. Okay, sir. Okay, so uh, uh, first memorize this formula. And so then, that is mass by mass percentage. Right? This is mass by mass percentage. Okay. Memorize this formula and then when you're done, please let me know. Yes, sir, done. done. So can I know? Can I note it? No, no, that it will. Now, what is mass by mass percentage? Mass by mass percentage is mass of solute. Okay. So there are different different types of concentration done that we are going to have. That is, there are the three types of uh, concentration term that we are going to have in our syllabus. First is mass by mass percentage. Second one is mass by volume percentage. Then volume by volume percentage. What is mass by mass percentage? When x gram of solute is dissolved in 100 gram of solution. The definition for mass by mass percentage is when x grams of solute dissolve in 100 gram of solution. And that is W by W percentage is mass by uh, mass of solute upon mass of solution into 100. You can write it like this way. Uh, w by W percentage is also equals to mass of mass of solute upon mass of solution solute plus mass of solvent plus mass of solution into 100. Into so 100. you have to, okay so you memorize this all that is being written from here to here and then when you're done please let me know i will ask you don't write it okay. uh, before i will listen okay. okay note it down so can and you note it down First, you learn this one? Sir, sir I learned the formula. Formula, na? this one also? Yes. Okay. Yes, you asked uh, it. Did you start writing? Yes, sir. Don't write it. You have to memorize oh. this formula first. Yes, sir. No. Okay, sir. Yes, Farhan, you memorized? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, you Urshad, you also? Yes, sir. Sara, you memorized? I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. What you said? Yes, sir. And Ravisa, you also memorized this one? Yes, sir. Okay. Now tell me, uh, yes, you, Sara, what is mass by mass percentage? What is mass by mass percentage, Sara? Sir, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Mass of solute by mass of solution into 100. And the definition? When x gram of? Um, I didn't memorize the definition. Yes, Ramaya, sir. What is the definition for mass by mass percentage? Uh, when x gram of solute is div is dissolved in 100 grams of solution. Okay, yes, you said that. What is mass by mass percentage? So when x, uh, x gram of solute is dissolved into 100 gram of solution. Yeah, solution, yeah. Both are in grams, okay. And mass of solution is equal to mass of solute plus mass of? Mass of solution. solution. Solvent. Mass yeah, solvent so into, into hundred. Okay, so write down a definition for write down a definition for mass by mass uh, percentage, and then write their formulas, both the formulas in your own words. Write it down fast. Yes, sir. 
Sir, we can't see the language. No, I'm, I, you have to do it in your own words. So you, you said that you have learned, na? So why should you okay, want sir. to... Yes, sir. You're done? Okay. Done, everyone? Yes, sir. Sarah, no, sir. done? No, sir. Note it, note it fast. Farhan, you done? No, sir. Note it fast. Sir, done. Okay. Sir, one second. Yes. Yes, sir, done. Yes, sir, done. Okay. So, check whether if you have committed some mistake in the definition. So you check it here. Check it here. So that is mass of uh, solute uh, divided by mass of solute plus mass of solvent or solute. Both mass of solute plus mass of solvent, both. Okay. Sir, then, sir. Done? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, according to the formula, uh, okay, we are going to have a question here. Okay. Calculate the mass by mass percentage when 30 gram of sugar is dissolved in 300 gram of water. Okay. When 30 grams of just a minute. Just a minute. Okay, start doing now. Start doing this.
डन सर डन ओके व्हाट इज द आंसर सर 10% परसेंट? 10% यस सर 10% ना यस सर यस सर माय सर व्हाट इज योर आंसर माय सर एंड सारा यस व्हाट इज योर 10% एंड सारा योर 10% 10% सर ओके एंड सारा योर सारा सेम you did the same mistake that most of the students are going to that it is dissolved in 300 grams of water water is not a solution water is solvent yes solvent so the mass of solution will be 30 gram of sugar plus 30, 300 grams of water so it, it should be 330 you have to check it like this way okay just a minute now you can check it like this way this is the mass Ma mass by mass percent is equals to when when mass of solute into upon mass of solution. So it should be three thirty is the mass of solute, and three hundred thirty will be the mass of solution. Got it? Yes, sir. So it should be uh thirty upon three thirty into hundred. That will be nine point zero nine percent. Okay. Okay. Sir. Note it down. Yes, sir. Okay. Done, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Here we have another questions on your screen. Just a minute. Okay. So just a minute. Write down the question number forty one in your copy. And then tell me the answer. What should be the answer? Write down the whole question number forty one in your copy. Forty one.
dan yes, yes you done yes, sir, okay done. what should be the answer for this question sir i think the c one so you think c. the c c one c yeah if you want to get 0.1% so what you will do 0.01 is here upon 0.01 plus 99.99 into 100 so when you add these two what you will get 100 and 100 100 will cancel out each other you will get 0.01% okay yes sir yes sir now do question number yes, 42 sir. question number 42 do question number 42 Yes, you you done? Do no, number forty two? No sir. Try to find out. No sir. Okay, okay, try to find out. Sir, done, sir. Done? Okay. Yeah, just one second. Done? Yes, you are still you done? You got the answer? No, sir. Just one minute. Done, sir. Right. 
ओके यस यू अदर स्टूडेंट फरहान इरशाद रुमायसा डन सारा व्हाट्स योर आंसर सारा व्हाट इज योर आंसर फरहान योर आंसर Sir, I also got twenty five. Irshad, your answer. Sir, I also got twenty five. Yeah. You also got twenty five. Okay. Let you check. Uh, uh, Irshad and you. Sara, just try to understand here. What is being given to you in the question? That is W by W percentage. That is twenty percent is being given to you, and the mass of solvent, mass water is solvent. Solvent mass is how much? Hundred, hundred gram. Hundred, hundred gram. Okay, and uh, mass of solute you need to find out. What is the formula in terms of solvent? The W by W percentage. Is equals to mass of solute upon mass of solution. We we are not going to write mass of solution here. Yes, sir. We will write mass of solute plus mass of solvent. Yes, sir. Mass of solute plus mass of solvent into hundred. Now. That is W by W percentage mass of solute upon mass of solute plus mass of solvent. Okay, don't write anyone. Nobody is requested to write. Uh, okay, okay, just and you, uh, Sara. First, you understand the question, then you need to do it by your own once more. Now, what is given to you in the question? Just put these values accordingly. W by W percentage is given to you. Write here twenty percent. Twenty. Mass of solute is not given to you. Let it be X upon. Mass of solute again not given to you. So write it, it x, and mass of solvent is hundred into hundred. Okay. You can write it like this way, in order to understand it more betterly. You can write it twenty is equals to. Okay, twenty is equals to x into hundred. This hundred means this hundred is going to multiply with x now. Geometer. So we have hundred x upon x plus hundred into hundred. Uh, sorry, into hundred has been multiplied. Now this whole term will goes to this side, and this twenty will comes down. It will become x plus hundred, and this twenty will comes down. It is hundred upon x. Hundred x upon twenty. Since there is a plus sign, you cannot cut hundred with hundred because there is a plus sign. So it is a rule, a violation of mathematics rule. That like if you are having hundred plus x, you cannot cut it like this way. Yes. Okay. Now, if you if you cut it like this way, so it is not considered to be as this one. Okay. You cannot cut. This is a violation of rule, mathematics rule. If it is plus sign. If it is, however, if it is multiply sign like hundred multiplied by five, you can cut it because multiplication can cut uh, allow it, but you cannot cut it like this if you cut it or x x you cannot cut it. So what we did it we get this bracket to this side and this bring this twenty to this side. Now this twenty is a single number without a plus some something. Now it can cut zero zero can can cancel out here, okay? And this two and two will get cancelled. You will get five x. Now this you will get x. Plus hundred is equals to five x. This five x, uh, this x one goes to this side. This will become minus, and you will get five x minus x is equals to hundred. And then when you cut it, cancel it, you will get uh four x is equals to hundred. Then this hundred by four. Okay. 
You cut it, you will get 25. Yes, no, no. Understood? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you are getting stuck somewhere, then let me know. Sir, I got 16.6. You got 16.6 because you put this value as a, a 100 here. That's why you yeah, got 16. Yes, sir. I put 20 uh, up and then 100, uh, 20 plus 100 like that. Okay. So, next time uh, when you do this question, you have to keep in mind that you have to uh, put it accordingly. Okay. Now you understood Sara and Irshad and everyone, Sara Beg. Yes, that how you yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Try, to, try to do it one, one more time by your own. Try to solve okay. this question by your own. One more time. Those who have not done, uh, please try to solve it by, by one more time. Yeah.